Winning more fights in Fortnite is actually way simpler than you think, and it doesn't all just depend on having fast and flashy mechanics. If you really want to improve and get better at fighting, you need to be using these fundamental tips which pros are hiding from you that they use to win so many fights. These videos do take a while to make, so if you enjoy, smash a like and subscribe for much more tips content just like this. Okay, so the first thing I want to cover is the three main edits which you should be using within a fight. Now, when approaching a wall, doing a simple window edit like this is good. However, if you do a middle window edit, you guys will notice it's wider than if you just do a simple edit of the window on the side. I'd always recommend doing the right window edit as this is the one you guys can right hand peek easiest and then reset very quickly. Next is arguably the most common peak, and that is the top right hand corner peanut butter edit peak like this. And you want to make sure that when you do do this edit, you are behind the wall so you're protected and you can go for a jump shot. Lastly, we have the bottom right hand corner edit just like so and this should be only used when you're to the left side of the box and you're looking to just finish off your opponent as you're likely to take damage back. You should only use this peak when you have the health advantage. Next, I want to cover some piece control moves when pressuring a box. Now, most players either pressure a box by pickaxing it like so, or by spraying the wall like this. Now, if you are the player inside the box, typically when you are being sprayed, your first reaction is to edit up the cone and edit out to your left-hand side. Most players tend to go out their left-hand side. Now, what you can do if you are the player outside the box here is that if you see the guy inside, maybe edit up his cone like he's going to go out his box, immediately you can guess he's going to go out to the left-hand side and you can pre-piece this option right there, meaning you can get a free pump shot and reset the wall. From there, you can then use like the peanut butter peak like we had earlier for example peak up in the top corner get some damage on him and you've also got the cone in the box and from there you should close out the fight pretty quickly next you always want to look out for if your opponent has a cone in their box because if they don't then you can use this simple move now instead of just when spraying out a wall trying to replace the wall like so i recommend that you guys do this you place a ramp in the box and then a wall like so instantly and if you guys are in the player in this situation in the box right here you now look like this and the your opponent has both that wall and this ramp immediately you're going to try and run out left again you're going to get piece controlled by someone using the previous tip to pre-piece you right here or the option is that if you're on the other side of the wall right here you can hit a little window right hand peak like so or again like i said earlier you guys can use the right hand window edit you can go like so pop your player like that this player is stuck in the corner easy right hand peak get a free tag onto the opponent when you're approaching your opponent's wall and you think that they're aiming to pre-fire you from inside the box use this easy tip of just simply placing a ramp inside the opponent's box so this is what they see again to show you guys what this looks like from the outside as you're approaching someone's box and they look like they're about to go for a pre-fire the second they make that edit you just boom want to put that ramp in their face straight away and this gives you peace control onto them to either shoot or for example say this window edit's still open you can reset it they're even going to go out to the side easily pre-piece it like that and get another shot off same thing i've already showed you guys Another thing to do with the idea of blocking pre fires is let's say that you get the ramp in your box immediately. If the opponent is elevated so they are not on the ground floor, it's most likely that they're going to edit out of the bottom. So you can simply edit down, get a cone piece control, and get a free shot onto your opponent, or even box him in if you needed to, like so. Next, I want to cover the topic of edit baiting. So let's say your opponent is boxed up like this with a cone in their box, and you have just gone up to their wall, you've double pickaxed it or single pickaxed it, played it smart, and you have taken the wall. From there, you guys can make a single little trick with edit baiting, and it all evolves around this middle window edit. When you open this middle window edit, you are exposing yourself to the player within the box. Just to show you guys what it looks like, you're going to be exposing yourself if you're stood right there, and this player is immediately going to go for a shot on you. Now, this is where the trick comes in. When you edit this window, you immediately go to reset the window right that now his shot that he fires trying to hit you actually ends up breaking the wall just like so reset quickly and it breaks the wall from there he has broken the wall and now he has shotgun delay before he can shoot again you can now shoot and then from there you can just simply reset the wall so really quick when they shoot out the wall you guys can then just get your shot off and reset the wall so you would shoot and then you'd shoot again right now and then you ro uh, reset the wall sorry to block any opposing damage which then you can use to go for another play you know if he edits up the cone inside the box we've gone over this you can piece control out to the right hand side now let's talk about how to correctly attack someone which is boxed up. Now when someone is fully boxed up like this, the one mistake lots of people make that you never want to do is simply going up and double pickaxing this wall. Because any sort of decent player while you go up and double pickaxe this wall is just going to make a simple wide open edit and get a 300 tag on you. Instead what you could do is you could even bait the pickaxe, pull out your shotgun, wait for that edit to come and try and get an instant shot on your opponent. Another common mistake is people also attacking the box incorrectly. Now in order to box fight someone, often you want to be at a dire 
diagonal or angle in your own box right here. And this is because you can then control the piece control. And from this angle, you're playing a right hand peak over here. So if your opponent makes a wide open edit like that, you're playing this right hand peak. This is a good edit. It's the top right hand corner edit. You are the one with a peak as advantage. Same in this corner. If you guys want to attack from this side, you know, if your opponent opens up here, you guys can shoot through and see your opponent. He is unable to see you. So always attacking from a diagonal point of view is always the best option if you guys build yourself a little box and attack from here. A second way to approach opponent's box is simply placing a cone here so they can't make an edit out and piece control you instantly, and then editing the front two tiles of this cone up, especially if they make an open wide edit on the wall like this. You edit these front two tiles of the cone up to block the shot, place a wall to your left so they can't fully piece control you so you have an exit route. From here you can edit out, place another cone, now you've got something to jump from, reset the cone, boom, you're in that diagonal box fighting position that we just spoke about, you can go for that peak shot up to the top right hand corner. Another important thing to mention is that you never want to always apply pressure to only one wall. You guys want to make sure that you're pressuring both from above and around different walls. But let's say, for example, that you are pressuring your opponent from this peak and you see that your opponent either goes to edit their cone up inside the box like so, which you then assume is going to make a play. Immediately, you can jump up and look to try and minimize the routes your opponent can go. You can try and pre-piece this right here so your opponent can no longer go out to their left-hand side. If they can't go to their left-hand side, you could look for a window edit right here to make sure they can't go out the top, or you could look to pre piece out the back if it looks like they're going to go out the back like so and then you have minimized your opponent's options from here he now can't go to his left behind him above him so he's only going to go to his right you can piece like this again i'm not saying you guys have to piece off every single option but if you piece off just a couple options that minimizes what you hit the opponent can do and then it makes their next move more predictable making it easier for you to kill them now it's inevitable within fights that eventually you're going to take some opposing damage so let's cover a few quick defensive strategies which you can do. The first one is known as the snail technique and effectively just what it is is literally a 2x2 two two just like this. Again there are quicker and more efficient ways of building it I'm just showing you guys how to build it and basically what this allows you is that it allows you to then have four different boxes to play from so even if your opponent is pressuring you right here let's say they even take this wall you can edit out the cone right so now you've got a right hand peak right here you can go for an attack on your opponent or you can drop back into more boxes like so. And the idea behind this is that eventually you guys, even if your opponent continues to pressure, you can just continue making space and you have more and more boxes to fight on to get more and more angles onto your opponent. Now, it's also inevitable that we don't all have unlimited mats. So whilst a snail is good, at some point you have to deal opposing damage back onto your opponent. One of the best ways to do this is for a pre-fire. Now, I'm sure 95% of you watching this video know what a pre-fire is. But for those that don't, it's effectively guessing when your opponent is going to make a window edit or an edit onto you and shooting pre-firing their edit and allowing you to get damage onto them when they literally have no time to block it. So the second they make the edit, you shoot, depending on how quick your reaction times is, you get an instant shot on your opponent. Now, this is always good when someone is pressuring you for example on your wall and you can just pre-fire them as soon as they pickaxe out that wall you get the pre-fire get the shotgun shot off then you can immediately go out back create more space and heal up Last thing I want to talk about is understanding your sensitivity and DPI because actually fast edits just like this, like triple edits and like cord edits, aren't actually that important in being a good fire. It's just the consistency of these simple edits, which is good. In terms of sensitivity, the higher sensitivity you are, I'm 11.1% 800 DPI. I tend to think your edits are going to be quicker. But like I said, find a correct balance because being able to do all this quad edits is no use when it comes into a fight because these aren't going to get you kills. Simple peaks like the window edits, just like so, and the top right and corner edits are the ones that will get you these shots and damage. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed. Please let me know in the comments down below any other videos just like this that you would like to see. Peace out from me.